G'day guys, John from JBR and I'm back with another tech video for you. This morning I was putting these rotors together, I was clearing some side seals and I came across something that was really whack. I've never come across it before so I figured it would be a good topic to do a video on and talk a little bit more in depth about. Um, I know there are a lot of guys that follow me just because of my um, the tech stuff that I do. This in particular I think is something that um, you'll all learn a little bit from and it will probably come in handy and hopefully save your ass when you're doing your next rebuild. Another reason I want to do this video is because I've switched over to using a GoPro camera. I've always done all my videos using my phone but I wanted to step up my video game a little bit so I'm going to have a crack at the GoPro so hopefully it works out alright. Anyway, back to these rotors. When I was clearancing the side seals, what I usually do, I'll go around and I'll do all the side seals, and then when I'm done, I'll go back around again when I'm finished and make sure every single one feels okay and I haven't missed anything, just as a double check. And when I was doing that, I noticed that there was a couple of the seals, the springs felt a little bit limp. Not really sure if that's the right word to use, but the tension on the spring was really, really soft. Um, some of them you'd push down and they felt normal, and others you'd push down and they were really, really slow to come back, and they had very little tension on them at all. This is probably something that you need to get a feel for, and because I've done so many of them, it was very noticeable to me that there was a big difference. Someone who hasn't done a lot of rotors probably wouldn't pick it up, but if I make you aware of it, then your chances of picking it up are gonna be a lot higher. So I looked a little bit deeper into it, and when I started looking, I pulled the springs out, and I laid the springs on the bench side by side, and there was a noticeable difference in the free height of the, the side seal springs. Now these are all springs that have just come straight from Mazda. They're all brand new. There's nothing, um, no second hand ones or no funny business going on. All straight out of the packet. And lined them up all alongside each other and there was probably three or four that were the same. Some were worse than others, some were normal. So I have no idea what's going on with that, but I'll try and zoom in with the camera and give you a little bit closer look of um, what it looks like and what you need to be looking for when you're checking this stuff. Okay, now with both rotors sitting on the bench, facing up, and all the side seals in place where they're gonna go, if we zoom in and have a look around here where the corner seal and the side seal butt up against each other, it's pretty easy to notice which one's got the dodgy spring behind it and which one's got the good spring. Generally, when the rotors are assembled, this area here, the height of the corner seal and the height of the side seal is roughly about the same. And that's uniform all the way along the length of the seal. So if we go up to the other end, the corner seal height and the side seal height are about the same. Now, if we move over to this rotor and have a look, it's really easy to see how much lower this side seal sits in the groove compared to the corner seal. Going all the way up the other end, it sits the same. And another way checking, if you apply a little bit of pressure to the seal itself, it's got very, very little spring tension on it at all. It feels really, really soft. Whereas this one here, when you poke it, it's firm springs back and you can feel quite a fair bit of tension on it. One more thing we can look at is, I'll just pop this spring out. And if we put them side by side with one that I know is good, And then we try and zoom in, get down nice and low. It's very easy to notice the height 
or the free height of the spring and how much difference there is between the two. So this is something that you could easily check by laying all your springs out on the bench before you assemble the rotors. If you did that, you'd be able to pick it up straight away. Um, but failing that, when the rotors are assembled, again, it is pretty easy to, to figure out. I don't know how long this has been going on, but no doubt there's probably um, quite a few engines that are already out there that have been put together with these dodgy springs in them. Um, but it's definitely something that you can keep an eye on for your next build. Thanks guys for watching. I hope somebody uh, learned a little bit from the video. It is something that I do think if it wasn't picked up on, um, it would make a big difference to the compression on each side of the rotor from one side to another or one chamber to another. Um, so I hope I'll bail somebody out of the ship and you don't um, get caught out yourself with this. Um, if you do get some value from watching my videos, do us a solid, hit the subscribe button down below. Um, I plan on pumping out a little bit more uh, tech stuff in the near future. So thanks again guys and I'll see you on my next tech video.